A futile and stupid gesture is the story of Doug Kenny, the man behind National Lampoon, Animal House, and Time. <laughs> Perfect. You mostly got it in. Listen. For all of you, what was your relationship with National Lampoon in the movies growing up? Were you fans? Were you aware of it? I didn't know much about the magazine. What I did know was pretty scary. It just seemed like it seemed a, like slightly erotic and a little bit dangerous. And some some stuff was really really funny, and some stuff was really dark and like really weird. For me, so. Animal House and Caddyshack, those two movies were like Rosetta Stones for me, the forming the movies that I watched over and over and over again with my friends. So mine was kind of a crash course. I didn't, I mean, I knew obviously of all of these characters and people um, as comedy icons, but not really the backstory behind it. And I just found the, the complexity of all the people really interesting. Literally knew nothing about it, really. I'd heard of the movies. And then uh, over the course of it, I mean, you guys were really good on the sending us like all the magazines and lots of the footage yeah, and stuff You ended like up that. doing way more reading than I did. Yeah, <laughs> that was one of the problems. Uh, and but yeah, so it was. I really, I really enjoyed it, you know. And they were like, they were a, they were a hardcore group of people. The stuff they were doing was not for the faint-hearted, and that was kind of thrilling to dip into for a while. This is gonna sound weird. I want to take a bath in his accent, don't you? Just like, a, just take a bath in it. It's gorgeous. And then Joel, you play Chevy Chase. So it just, you know, it's it's uh, it's it's dealing with Chevy before he was, you know, gonna ba about to be the biggest star in the world. It was very weird at first, but uh, but David uh, was so uh, insulting on set that I was able to find my way. You suck. Do better. You suck. Do better. Yeah, there was that went on for. Like David Fincher does a lot of takes because he wants to find something around take sixty, but he still would be like, we don't have it. <laughs> Keep going. And with a cast as large and funny as this one, I'm wondering, was there any particular on-set moments that were memorable or unexpected or exciting? Well, Will Forte, who can't be here today, um, but is the star of the film, right before all of our romantic scenes, right after they would say rolling, he would say to me, he would whisper to me, I just farted. <laughs> so that was pretty memorable for me. Memorable for me. None of these things were accidents. The success of the Lampoon, the success of the Animal House and Caddy, the Lampoon films, is it's just a very dedicated bunch of really intense people. Staying you know, true to their voice. Staying true to their voice. And sometimes doing cocaine. Lots of it. Yeah, apparently. All of, all of it. All of, all they, of the cocaine. Columbia was like, we're out. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>